suggests to me that there is obviously a lot more going on in this relationship than custody of a dog. I think that we're really only going to be able to address a part of your problem, which has to do with where heaven's going to go home. Right. Ms. Hunt, on top of suing your daughter to get your dog back, you're also suing her for gas money because you claim that you had to expend $200 worth of gas to go and get your heaven bag. Yes. And Ms. Taylor, you say that your mom has not cared for the dog. Your mom's given the dog away before. And heaven now belongs to you and your family. Now, Ms. Hunt, I understand that before your daughter took custody of Heaven, Heaven was living with you, yes. but you were undergoing some stomach surgery. Was that what it was? It was a pretty serious surgery? It was minor. And it wasn't nothing that laid me up. It, the way it's described in the complaint, it sounds like you had Heaven, your daughter was going to come up and give you a hand during the surgery, right. and then things blew up. Yes, ma'am. Now, before the surgery, how long did you have Heaven? Eight years. Did you ever try to give her away before? I did back several months before and the lady took her and, and told me that if I couldn't handle it that she would be glad to bring her back. So you're giving her no, she away couldn't before handle you can really it. take care of her. Going through the, the surgery and everything I thought it would be better for her because she would be able to be out and running and taking you know but the, the girl I had no problem with bringing Heaven back. So let's talk about what happened the time that you gave Heaven to your daughter. Because you and your brother were going up to see your mom. It's correct that she was having the surgery. Yes, ma'am. And then you met mom's new boyfriend. Is that your boyfriend? Ah! Stephen Shoemaker. So you met Mr. Ah! Shoemaker, who was dating your mom, uh -huh. and you didn't like him. And um, didn't have a problem with him at first. Um, until later when I found out that he had been in prison for murder is when I began to have an issue. Uh, Your Honor, please. And um, upon his statement to me was not, I've made a mistake and I went to prison for it. It was, you don't bring a knife to a gunfight. And it was self-defense. Self-defense um, against who? I don't know. He did not elaborate. That was um, at dinner the first night there. You meet her new boyfriend. Correct. Her new boyfriend tells you that he killed somebody in self-defense. You don't bring a knife to a gunfight. You don't know who was killed. Correct. But then you have a big fight with your mother because she says it's none of your business. Two yes. 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 How long has Heaven been with you? Since January. So Heaven's been with you for roughly six months. Heaven's been with your mom off and on eight years. I'm trying to figure out the circumstances under which you took the dog. Did you take the dog because you were having a big blowout with mom? Or did you take the dog because you felt like heaven needed some help? I mean, I don't know how much of your business it was, frankly, if mom says it wasn't your business. And mom, was there a big fight that you had with your daughter? A, it was a fight from the time she got there. Why? She was shouting and hollering. She didn't like that I had put Mr. Shoemaker in charge of my financial uh, stuff or my stuff for if something happened to me on the operating. So is that what was going on? The journey. No, ma'am. When we first got there, everything was fine. There was no problem. We were going to dinner. I was hungry. I've been on the road for quite a few hours because there was a snowstorm. We drove up and got there, went to dinner, this came out at dinner. We had a conversation after dinner. I did get very upset that my mother had put a man that she'd only known for six months over her health decisions. Um, it didn't have a thing to do with financial decisions. I did not know that part at that time. I don't think you let someone you know for six months make your health decisions for you. Well, I'm gonna let Judge Domingo step in, but I'm gonna tell you this. You know, you may not like him, but your mom looks like a grown up adult lady to me. I hope that this dog didn't make this family dispute even more complicated than it is, but I don't think you get to pick your mom's boyfriend. And that's fine. And that's fine. And I told her I did not care. You know, she could do, but just don't let somebody you don't know say it over your medical decisions. I you sound like a child scorned. No. You sound like a child She's scorned. I'm not saying that you're wrong to feel that way. I'm just saying <laughs> that you go to dinner, you find out basically a total stranger. Mm -hmm. Because six months, ma'am, somebody's basically a total stranger, and you're putting them in charge of finances. How did you feel about your mom your whole life? She's never been my mother. Okay. The first answer that you gave when Judge Acker said your mother and daughter, you blurted out biologically. And that's all it's been. And that's why I'm saying you're like a child scorned. I'm not casting judgment on you. <laughs> I'm just making an observation. So here you are. How old are you? 
30. Did you always live away from your mom as you grew up? How, yes. What was your living arrangements as a, as a I lived with my aunt. From what age? As long as I can remember legally from the time my parents divorced until... How old was your daughter when you gave her up to her aunt? She was 11 years old. Was it your sister? No. Your ex-husband's yes. sister? Why'd you give up, you know, at that point well, in time? Well, at that point in time, she was old enough to make the decision where she wanted to live. 11 years old? Yes, ma'am. And... At 11 years old, they want to live at, at Carvel. They want to live well, in Carvel. She wanted to stay in Georgia because that's where all of her family and her friends were. And her grandmother had passed and she had taken care of Leslie. I did not have Leslie for me. My in-laws took it over. Okay, so this is what I hear here. I hear a mother and a daughter, both of whom have not really cultivated a mother-child relationship, probably from the get-go. I don't think that there needs to be one. She has six children and none of us want anything to do with her. That are half-brothers and sisters of yours, right? So now you have this relationship. You have heaven for eight years? Yes, ma'am. Who had you given the dog to right before the incident here? It was a um, girl that lived in our apartment building. It was her sister. She were you allowed to have a dog in your building? Yes, ma'am. Because of your illness, were you incapable of taking heaven out for walks and running around? Sometimes, but I had Mr. Shoemaker. He would take her out when I couldn't. So why then did you decide to give the dog to someone else in your building if you had Mr. Shoemaker helping you out? Well, it was kind of a dumb decision. Well, I'm not going to pass judgment on that either at this point. I just want to know who the dog is going to belong to.